Hi, I'm David Warden with 8020 Endurance. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about maximum heart rate and specifically about its irrelevance to you as an endurance athlete. If you've ever used a cardio machine at a gym, you've probably seen the target heart rate charts that many of them carry. Almost always, these guidelines are based on maximum heart rate. So for example, if you want to burn fat, you're told to exercise at 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate. Whereas if you want to maximize your aerobic fitness, you're told to exercise at 80 to 90% of your maximum heart rate. Even some endurance training systems use maximum heart rate based intensity guidelines. One popular system requires athletes to keep their heart rate below 180 beats per minute minus their age and years throughout all of their easy workouts. The problem with such guidelines is that your maximum heart rate is determined by factors that have nothing to do with how fit you are. These include age, body size, and genetics. Consequently, intensity zones based on maximum heart rate may or may not be appropriate for you. And even if they are a good fit today, they may no longer be after you've increased your fitness level. This is all the more likely to be the case if your zones are based on a one-size-fits-all maximum heart rate formula rather than actual testing. A better basis for intensity zones that match your current fitness level and evolve as your fitness level changes is your lactate threshold heart rate, which can be determined through simple field tests. To learn more about these tests and the 8020 Endurance Intensity Scheme, check out our books 8020 Running and 8020 Triathlon and visit 8020endurance.com.